Only the priest and the king. Soltanto il parroco. Elisa's brother tracked down the address and a phone number for Restivo's family. During the call, I was positive something very serious had happened. He wouldn't give me a straight answer. I was sure Restivo was lying or hiding something. Restivo was eventually brought in for questioning here at the local police headquarters in Potenza. Restivo denied any knowledge of Elisa's whereabouts. He still had some explaining to do. On the afternoon of that Sunday, Restivo went to a local hospital for a cut on his hand. Now he claimed that he got that cut falling down a half-built escalator. He went to the escalator because he wanted to have a look at it, which always struck people as a, as a very strange explanation. But there was still no evidence that Elisa had even been harmed. Restivo said she told him she dreamed of running away from Potenza to a big city like Naples. He remained steadfast under interrogation. Danilo Restivo did say that he had met Elisa Clamps in the church. They were having a chat. He always claimed that he left her in the church. No harm had come to her as far as he was aware. The examining magistrate who was looking into the case said he did not accept Danilo Restivo's version of events and his explanation for what happened on the day. He was never charged with the disappearance or murder of Elisa Clapp. What he was charged with was essentially misleading a magistrate. Restivo spent 10 months behind bars in Potenza's small prison and was then released.